thing I will never forget about my beloved Papa Kid. It's our jolly bonding moments. And he never fails to make me smile. Even if he's far away, he still finds time to communicate with me. He also asks me, how's my studies? He always makes me feel like I'm her princess. He always makes sure that we have a father and daughter relationship. That's why I will miss my beloved Papa Kid because of his kindness, his love for me, and, and because he's caring. I love you, Papa, and I'll miss you so much. Until we meet again, best Papa in the world. I never thought that my homecoming last Christmas was our last goodbye. It was a snap decision to visit home for the holiday. And despite of the short notice, Keith came home too from Mindanao to join our bonding activities and celebrate Christmas with the family. It was a very intimate holiday celebration as I was not in the peak of health and still recovering from my surgery procedure. Back in November, I got so frustrated with Keith for not coming home during the All Souls Day to honor and pay respect to his mama Becky. But Keith came home for the Christmas holiday because me and fans were there. I am really sad not knowing that it's gonna be our last bonding moments together. I had noticed in him that he's not jolly anymore as compared to before. Although I accounted that it was because he was sick with fever at that time, but Keith still drives for us to wherever we want to go. And most especially, bringing his cousin Vance to places that are new destinations in Cebu. Keith is a very wacky person and a king koi, as we say it. He has many jokes that burst us to never-ending laughter when we are gathered together. During the earlier days, whatever the family does or is in problem. The household praise is always Sikit lang Sikit ay Sikit mangud Sikit lagi and whatever Up to his last breath, we are saying Kani mangud si Keith? God heard those praises now. And God is the king of the family. I remember very well a few hours before our take off back here in US. We were gathered around the table in my sister Winnie's knee hat. Keith was there, sitting silently and just listening while I was giving Ivy some last minute instructions. And as we ended up and rise to give each other's farewell hugs, my parting words for him was, Keith, pagpatan ako yung ginong doktor ha? Because he never told us his real condition. And he just replied, Ayokot ka bala ka ni auntie? Okay na lang ko. With great sorrow, 
I unite with the whole family in the celebration of Keith's life. Keith, you know that our memories together with the family will be sadly remembered. And memories of you as my supportive nephew will always be cherished. You rest in peace now, and may eternal light will guide your path on your journey back to our heavenly home. Give my hugs to your mama Becky, Lola Nini, Lulumiding, and the rest of the departed family as you join them in the home of our loving father. Someday, we will see each other again. You are in my heart and your Auntie Sarah will never forget you. Ako, itong panahon na nasakit ang mama niya at naman namatay siya, wako ka, nakabusan ako ka ngayon at katulad pagka matay niya. Paro siya na kaya higan sa ospital ang tulad sa namatay siya para ba kami magka-istorya muna na akong ano na iyong nagilat ko yun na wasya magkamalingon ako na kung siyang inibati nagkaroon gani kahit asa ka magkaroon pa doon na ipasugat ka sa mama ni mo Oh uh -huh. 